Do you know what you would do if you were bitten by a snake? Or what about a jellyfish sting at the beach? Dr. Madison Schwartz of Florida Poison Control in Jacksonville is here with us right now. We're going to talk about these things so you're ready before such things happen. Well, first of all, we hope they never do. Absolutely. But thanks for being here to talk about it. So these guys right here, I mean, they're creepy when they're plastic. When they're for real and they bite you, it's very, very scary. So what is the first thing someone should do in a situation like that? So the first thing would be to not go and chase after the snake. We want to go ahead and get that person to keep that affected extremity that was bitten um, at heart level. Don't do anything to try to suck out the venom. Don't try to tourniquet or put ice on the snake, snake bite itself. Call your poison center and get yourself to an ER as fast as possible. Okay, so the idea of trying to run after it because you think, oh, they're going to want to know what bit me. You could be doing a lot more damage because you're, you're moving. Okay, so, so that's a snake bite, and that's very, very scary. Um, spider bites are a lot more dangerous, I think, than a lot of people think. So in, in a situation like that, how do you know if it's like a dangerous spider that's bitten you? What do you do? So we don't have any terribly, fatally venomous spiders here in Florida. We do have the black widow spider as well as the brown recluse, which isn't quite as common in Florida. Really, the big thing is actually significant amounts of pain. So the best thing you can do for that is if the, you were bitten by a spider, you can call your poison center. We have specialists in poison information that can certainly give you advice on how to go about treating these, uh, treating these particular bites. If it is significantly painful, you can go to the ER as well and make sure that it's being treated appropriately. Okay, so, so I know somebody who had a spider bite that it, it just started to grow and grow and grow, and eventually he went to an ER and was treated, I, I want to stay with antibiotics. Is that something that would happen with a spider bite, or does it, I guess, just vary? So normally you don't necessarily need antibiotics for a spider bite, but if you do get an infection secondary to that I bite, see. then you may need some antibiotics. So maybe secondary from scratching and then the wound Absolutely. and so forth. Okay, so now we've covered spiders, and while those are they fall into that insect category, there are a lot of other pesky critters out there that can cause a lot of havoc over the summer and the rest of the year being Florida. So what about other insects should we be looking for? So you're absolutely right. Being outside, you can have wasp stings. Uh, you can have caterpillars. We've seen an uprise in caterpillar bite or stings themselves. Usually those kind of are going to be just symptomatic and supportive care in nature. Normally you can just treat it by applying ice. You're great. You can use steroids topically that and just apply it to the bite area. Mm -hmm. Antihistamines can be helpful as well. And if you're seeing signs of anaphylaxis, like a severe allergic reaction, you want to get to that person, that person to an ER as quickly as possible. But in general, it's just going to be symptomatic and supportive care. For the caterpillars, there's those hairs that can be kind of stinging and you can apply tape to actually try to remove those hairs. They're almost oh. like fiberglass. Oh, interesting. And then finally, let's talk about those jellyfish stings. I had one as a kid, and I remember that the pain started tiny, like on my thumb, and the next thing I know is my entire arm. Is there, is there any truth to the, some of those myths that we've heard? So the only thing we really like to recommend is you have this uh, spray bottle here. You can bring a vinegar, uh, you can put vinegar in one of these spray bottles and bring it to the beach with you, and that can work to help to neutralize the pain from the toxin in the jellyfish bite. But we don't really want to pee on anybody or okay, good. on a person that's got a, a jellyfish sting. That more just adds insult to injury than anything else. The most important thing is going to be to remove the tentacles of the jellyfish themselves, and you can do that actually by going back into the water so you can prevent any more stinging cells from being released from the tentacles. Really? Okay, so your, your first instinct is going to be to run out of the water, but you're actually saying stay in. And I know that you all have a wealth of information on your website as well as that phone number that you keep mentioning that you can make that call, and that's floridapoisoncontrol.org. Doctor, thank you so much because this stuff is out there, and, it, and it's better to be safe than sorry and know what you're dealing with. So again, floridapoisoncontrol.org.